UAE has established peace with Israel and is now getting F-35 jets, and a triggered Iran has gone all out against it. Tensions are escalating between the United Arab Emirates and Iran all over again. As per the latest reports, Iran has said on Monday an Emirati ship was seized by the border guards of Iran and its crew were detained due to illegal traffic in our country's waters. Iran has also alleged that the UAE Coast Guard killed two Iranian fishermen on the same day when the Emirati ship was seized. The latest incident comes in the larger backdrop of heightened tensions between the UAE and Iran over the full normalization of relations between Israel and the UAE last week. While every anti-Israel Islamist regime was taken aback by the historic peace deal between Tel Aviv and Abu Dhabi, Iran was the one that had issued some serious threats. The Iranian president Hassan Rouhani had remarked that the UAE committed a huge mistake by reaching a deal with Israel. Without elaborating, Rouhani said, They better be mindful. They have committed a huge mistake, a treacherous act. We hope that they will realize this and abandon this wrong path. A more serious threat, however, came from Kehan, an Iranian hardline daily that serves as a mouthpiece for the Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khomeini. Kehan stated, The UAE's great betrayal of the Palestinian people will turn this small, rich country, which is heavily dependent on security, into a legitimate and easy target. The UAE itself has been taking Iranian threats very seriously. Abu Dhabi had reviewed Rouhani's remarks as threats and had summoned Iran's Shah de Affair in Abu Dhabi to protest what the UAE described as unacceptable and inflammatory rhetoric. The UAE has also said that Rouhani's remarks had serious implications for security and stability in the Gulf region. For the UAE, Iran has been a long-time regional security threat and the country had also recently witnessed a series of incidents in its vicinity when tensions rose between the US and Iran. In fact, last month, three Iranian missiles reportedly landed near the Al Dhafra Air Base in the United Arab Emirates, where India's five Rafal fighter aircraft was stationed en route to Indian Air Force Air Base at Ambala. Moreover, the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and effective UAE ruler Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nehan envisages a regional war in which Iran would target the Emirates. Nehan had reportedly told US officials that Israel might strike first if Tehran doesn't contain its nuclear program. The Crown Prince believes that if Israel does strike Iran, then Tehran could end up targeting the UAE in a regional war that would ensue. Meanwhile, the UAE is looking to secure its own interests by buying the American F-35 fighter aircraft. While Israel opposes any such deal despite the normalization of ties with the UAE in order to maintain its military edge, it is largely accepted that the UAE's purchase of F-35 jets is aimed at its close and hostile neighbor, Iran, and not Israel. The UAE has no option but to secure itself from Iran because it is separated from Iran only by the narrow Strait of Hormuz. As such, the UAE will be the easiest target for Iran if the West Asia gets engulfed in tensions. Moreover, Iran seems to have got triggered already with the UAE-Israel peace deal. Tehran's influence in West Asia is largely dependent upon the Palestinian cause, but the Emirati-Israel peace deal promises to sideline Palestine. Tehran is, therefore, trying to show its muscle against the Emirates that could ultimately push West Asia into an intense war with the UAE, Saudi Arabia and Israel on one side and Iran on the other.